Finally, for our integer variables, for numbers, instead of setting or getting, giving our variables values that are, we set in the code, we're going to get the user to type in what numbers they want and we're going to save them in these, values, in these variables. So, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a message that says console right line please type in a number and then instead of having num1 gets the value 20 we're going to have num1 gets the value console dot read line that means num1 gets the value whatever we read that the users typed in on the console so if they type in 10 num1 gets the value 10 then I'm going to have num2 equals, that, I've missed that, so I need that line first. I'm going to take that console.right line for a second message, like so. Please type in another number. Num2 equal, or num2 gets the value console.read line. So instead of setting those variables to be definite numbers in the code, we're now getting the user to type in the numbers. And then we can work with those variables in exactly the same way we did before. This is a really important step, so you need to understand how to ask the user to put some input in, how to, and how to store that input in a variable. That goes on with, that goes on in the next few tutorials with strings as well, with text as well as numbers. So make sure you understand how to do this. I'm going to leave that code on there for a little while so you can have a good look at it. Um, but what we're going to do is run the program and test that that works. It's the same program as last time, except instead of setting the numbers to 10 and 5, I'm typing them in. So please type in the number 54, let's type in another number, 935, 54 plus 935 equals 989. So we just invented our own basic adding machine. Um, if you look, I've still got that line in there about subtracting one from the other, but it doesn't tell me what numbers I'm using. So if you press enter, it should just say the total minus 881 and subtracts 935 from 54. So that's how to get user input and store it in a variable. Make sure you're really confident on that before you move on.